them. That is awesome. Pandera hat on, boys. Tell me about it. Look. He's got that thing. <laughs> That's tripping me out, bro. <laughs> Magnets that, are wild. That pen, that pen is up. The How do they work? That pen is straight How do they hour. work? I need a PDS Look at that special. pen. Yeah. Well, I. It's all about feels. Huh? Feels? That's how they work. It's all about feels. Who's Phil? Phil hey, Robertson. Magnets. We're defying gravity now. Oh, F E I L D S. Fields. He field. says field. The magnetic that, field. That's the magnetic Not field. to be confused with shield. That's right. Almost Not got it. To be confused Almost nailed with it. shields, boy. That that's away. chilling. Yeah. That foul oh, got oh, me the other me. day playing with this other one. Yeah, we got too many toys on these days. Are we going yet? Uh, I, think I think so. Yeah, I think so. Are we going? I, welcome back. Uh, there you go. Martin, do your welcome back thing. Oh, this is the podcast it. of threes. Threes? There's, yeah, there's threes. But there's four of us. Uh, I know, but we're going with three. Why is that? The first one is, how did everything you see get here? Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. My man, in the second, my man okay. had a good night's sleep. Yeah, he been uh, studying in this the morning. Second, <laughs> had a good night. In the second working, one is baby. okay. He's what is the purpose oxygen. of everything, including us? So how the other here, one? What's after the all is said and done, and the final countdown have been counted down. The final countdown. Yeah. That's it. What's your destination? What's your destination? Well, Pastor, why don't you go ahead and preach? Well, hey, I was just saying. I, I like it. Hey, put that in your human box and, and compensate it on it. That's, the word, that's oh. the wrong word. Com com compensate it? Com oh. and say that 10 oh, times right. real fast. No, I can't say it. I can't say it right once. What's the word I'm, what, is the word, what is the word I'm looking at? Contemplate. 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 Okay. He's contemplate. In other words, think seriously about it. Contemplate. Y'all use them. Well, have you been words. contemplating this morning? Yes, I have. What you been contemplating? And hey, look, and the only thing it did was, okay, as I'm sitting here, I'd signed a bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. And I look down and I'm bleeding. My man sprung, sprung a leak. Too I hard. sprung a leak. And look, working to the pressure. This old, this old hide of mine, <laughs> it actually tore about a quarter inch underneath. This old hide underneath of this bandage. I'm going to let it shine. Dr. Justin Martin put on my. <laughs> oh, wait, Martin, you bandaged him up this morning? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he done he's, sewed yeah, him up. He's in practice for the years to come. Yeah. Because so, he's fixing to have two that's just going to have all kind of bones. Oh, yeah. All kind of bobo. So what happened to you? I just started bleeding. Oh, we looked down. He was bleeding. I was bleeding. Yeah. He said, well, I think it was this, this was probably had caught the, and tore. The rubber. The rubber. Yeah. Band? Uh, my warning wristband. Yeah. Warning. About, where hey, I he has been fooled with on the right side of his lungs. Because I can't pronounce uh, the good thing. Pneumothorax. Pneumatic, pneumatic thorax. Risk, sure. Close P enough. P pneumatic. Yeah. Oh, there good. you go. Oh, something about hey tires. What? Tires. What? <laughs> That's shocks. Hey, shocks too. Hey, shocks too. New. Why okay. is the P silent? Why is well, it there? Why is it hey, there? Ask a Ganat. Hey, Phil Roberts. Ganat. Because he was an English major. P pneumonia. What were you, major? Hey, I was a dropout. <laughs> That's I what I was. Hey. Unreal. Hey. Oh, yep. no. It was real. <laughs> he's been, he's going to have to That's keep. Right. I saw that a long time ago. Okay. He's got a little while, though, for, before he starts band-aiding up him youngins. Well, look, before what? we go too far. I was far, about to say, we didn't know if you were going to be here today, and you are. Here I am. Yeah. Now, we've uh, been instructed to try and get to Monday. Monday. Okay. The final words were, I'll see you Monday if I don't see you before then. Ooh, okay. ah, in, other words, ah, yeah. in other words, well, don't, look, don't rush this process. That's right. Look, if you hear over in the corner moaning and groaning. Well, I've been hearing that saying, for two weeks. And saying, couldn't, wouldn't, shouldn't, can't, shouldn't. Just don't worry about it. It's just contractions. I get it. <laughs> Couldn't, shouldn't, wouldn't. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I think I those like are it. like the main thing you look out for. <laughs> now, that one's a little more educated joke by Gavin. That's why I didn't get that, it. Yeah. <laughs> that one, that one, you, you, yeah, okay. I like yeah. it. So you're going to have October babies. Yep. 
Golly, Monday. I don't yeah. know, Hammer. We still got two days left in September. I was just going to say, they may not make October. Are you going to be sitting on a bow stand October 1st? No. If I do, I'm going to end up at Mulhern's on October 2nd. So. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the local funeral Ooh, home. Well, they can yeah. call you. <laughs> huh? They can, she can call you. Yeah. Yeah, no, I know better. Like deer season go to January thirty first. I ain't got to be there for day. I've already been deer hunting. I was sitting on a deer stand when Joe Hunter was born. No. Yeah. Well, she is adopted. Did you kill anything? There, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that part of it. Okay, that makes. Well, sense. <laughs> I had a little more leeway. Yeah. A little more, there you more go, leeway, boys. You know. There you go. Like you ain't gonna pull that one over on me. You ain't gonna shame me for not being there October first. I don't care. It goes to January thirty first. We got plenty of time to kill deer. Like I'm, I'm not worried about that. And I, I yeah. still got a little stag meat from last year. So I ain't. There you go. I ain't in a bind right now. We've uh, been, we've been getting our deer hunting spot ready. Me and Miss Paula. She, she up first, or you? Yeah, she's up first. She's up first, boys. The pressure's on. She's always up first. Y'all draw straws or you just No, kinda... I just want to watch her. There you go. That's good. I like that. Servant, man. He's a servant. Mm-hmm. I enjoy yeah. it. She's all riled up over his... I mean, she didn't even start deer hunting until she's 50. She shoots one and she's like, I get it now. There it is. She hey. said, I just provided us with some meat That's it. that I, we can eat. I put... I put food on the table. She said. She I just had to get that nest empty. Yeah. yeah. And then we went to the camp, and she we dropped it. She said, well, we need to clean up. I said, no. No, get in that recliner right there. We finna take a nap. Nap time now. So, you know her, she can't She can't be still. <laughs> and uh, she finally got around to it and sat in that recliner, and we took a nap. She woke up, and she said, okay. I get it. Mm-hmm. He gets it. He gets it. Hey. Blood pressure medicine. Oh yeah, she well, wasn't so good. If she ever ended up in Wyoming, she would never come back. Oh man! Oh, she done had me in debt buying property and everything. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's the deal. Look, we'll take our first break. We'll get back right after this. Look, level with me. We've all been in a situation at some point in our lives where you get a little tight on cash, you know? You you may only be able to put a couple of gallons of gas in your tank. You get another save the date. You got baby showers. You got you got 100 different things coming up. That's where our friends over at Dave can help. If you're living paycheck to paycheck or struggling to make ends meet, it can be really stressful when unexpected expenses come up. Now, Dave can help you get out of a pinch when you really need it. Look, hindsight's always twenty twenty, and you can't change the past, but what if you could get a little help from your future self Maybe you'd ask to borrow a little cash, you know? Now you can. You can do that with our friends over at Dave. Dave is the banking app that can help you get up to $500 instantly with extra cash. That's more money to fill your tank, buy a wedding gift, or just simply catch up on bills. You can finally tackle those expenses that have been stressing you out without any hangups. There's no interest and no credit check needed. Millions of people have already downloaded the Dave app to get the financial relief they need with extra cash. So if you're in a pinch and need some extra help, download Dave and think of it as a helping hand from future you That's yeah baby. all you need look hey if i'd had that app when i was growing up man i'd never have been having to pick up cans for crickets i just give me a little money and go buy me some crickets and some arms go fishing i had to pick up pecans there you go or pick up rocks hey. out of the yard look download the dave app from the app store right now that's d-a-v-e sign up for an extra cash account and get up to 500 dollars instantly for terms and conditions go to dave.com slash legal instant transfer fees apply Banking provided by Evolve member FDIC. The future you will thank you. Well, Goblin, I, I can't help but notice you, you're you like the incredible shrinking man here beside well, me. You, you're doing good, son. Boy, everything that's good, I can't eat. But let me tell you what, Miss Johanna, she, had, um, she made a shepherd's pie the other day yeah. with cauliflower. As the taters. Yeah. And it was, she had them sauced up. It, it was good. I was surprised. Cauliflower. And it's actually good for you. Yeah. They finally figured yeah, out what, what to say. do with all that leftover yeah. cauliflower. Yeah. Just turn it into other stuff. Pizza. Oh, she had it. It was, 
it was I'd had it before somewhere and it was kind of running. I'm like, man, eh. but she had it. It was don't it, make it runny. He got it down pat. Yeah, yeah, don't make it runny. No, it wasn't runny. But the real question is, is it good or you just ain't had it's nothing? Good. You ain't had nothing good in so long it seems good. Well, that, that might be it. <laughs> Maybe it. Hey, right. Is it some part of a placebo you effect? What, you know what? I, I want a stinking hamburger. Well, go get you one. Just throw the bun away. <laughs> I got bad news for you, guy. When uh, Yesterday I found out we're getting one of them Freddy's frozen custards and steak burgers in West Monroe. Uh-oh. Are we really? Mm-hmm. Where's that at? Chicken Express old building. Really? That mm. one got a chance to make it there. That's a good place. Yeah. We don't well, know. I won't be going. <laughs> well, you, you, you might. You get it whooped. Yeah, you get it whooped. Then we can go celebrate with the milk. Oh, that little thing you stick on your arm uh-huh. and you put your phone. Them things. I keep ripping them things off. Limbing up deer stand, you know, putting limbing up deer standers out there. And <laughs> boy, I tore it off my arm. Put a new one on, go out there and working, and about two days later, I ripped that and all. I can't keep him on there. He's a very active young man. You are spry. I'm going to have to put it on the back, I guess. Oh, the, the flying you put it on you. Can you put it like right there? It'd be pretty safe right there. I don't know. It hurt like the Dickens, but. I thought those didn't hurt. I don't know. It they seems like hurt. it would. It didn't hurt ripping out. You look at it and you go, okay, great. When you pull it off to put a new one on. Yeah. That thing got a needle looks like two miles long in it. Mm. It ain't really, but but you know <laughs> but I just don't like needles. So how are you doing? You still on the medicine and all that stuff or you, you This you clear? is what this is what I'm doing. I'm taking ginger. Ginger. Like I'm the taking tea? two pills every morning. Of ginger? Of ginger. I got off that medicine. It's making my stomach hurt. Yeah. But the ginger helping? Yeah, so far. I mean, we're going to try it and see. If it don't work, we'll get back on the mess. Well, ginger ought not make your stomach hurt. Ain't that what they give you for nausea? I don't know. So that ought to help. They don't. Yeah, that ought to help both ways. Brittany ate enough of that stuff in the first six weeks. Yeah. <laughs> just straight ginger? I think I'm pretty sure. Ginger, now. ginger candy. like just Ginger ale? Ginger ale. I thought people only drank that on airplanes. Not ginger. What am I saying? I don't know. But that's that's what pink, you said. That pink stuff. Ginger. Is that what it is? Pink stuff? What is that they get when you go get, eat sushi? What's Pepto-bismol? That? No. Pink it's stuff. It's on the side of your plate. Paprika? No. That is ginger. It's is ginger. It? And I, thought the, I thought the white was pickled Excuse ginger. Excuse me. I didn't mean to say ginger. But I'd like to have some. <laughs> <laughs> Cinnamon. That's what cinnamon. You're, cinnamon. Yeah. you're cinnamon. taking cinnamon. Oh, and cinnamon. You eat cinnamon with your sushi? No. Well, that's good. I'm confused. Cinnamon. All right, no, let's no. start over. Cinnamon. Let's start good. over. Start over. Start over. Ask me if I'm taking my medicine. Are you taking your medicine? No. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why ain't you taking your Why ain't you taking your medicine? Because I'm taking cinnamon. I'm taking two pills of cinnamon. Cinnamon pills? Yes, sir. That's exactly right. So what does, it's, it's, what does cinnamon actually do? It lowers your glucose level. Oh. Glucose. Did I say that right? Is that why glucose. they put it on like French toast and stuff? I think oh. like cinnamon. Counteract the sugar? Yeah, yeah, but you can't cinnamon. have the bread. Cinnamon toast crunch? But you can't have the sugar. Can't have, can't have that is, cinnamon toast. Ooh, but I could oh, eat a bunch bad. of it. Cinnamon toast crunch is the greatest ooh, cereal bad, ever made. Oh, love. yeah, pour it in a big cup and pour milk on top ooh, of it. Oh. Yeah, here it is. Cinnamon may help lower blood sugar and fight diabetes by imitating the effects of insulin and increasing glucose transport into cells. Well, there you there go. go. That makes sense now. So you're on the cinnamon. I'm on the cinnamon. So you If like it don't a, work, like I said, I'll have to go back on the medicine, but we're going to try it. And I it feel a lot better. And it don't hurt your stomach. They got cinnamon pills? So the medicine is hurting your stomach. So Goblin's yeah. like pumpkin spice right now. <clears throat> it is it. October. It is. Ish. All you All need right. is some Uggs and some leggings, son. You'd be... You'd be really celebrating this. I got an old Miss game this week. Yeah, guaranteed. Yeah. Oh, they're going to have a cool helmet. Who's that? Old Miss. Oh, the Rebels? Yeah. Yeah, they're wearing the camouflage. Yeah, real Fishing camouflage, yeah. 
they better do something because Kentucky's coming and Kentucky's good. Oh, oh, oh. Kentucky. <laughs> and we that? ain't talking about basketball. We, yeah, we actually called them out earlier. We got an email from a Kentucky fan, which I didn't know there was a Kentucky football fan, but apparently there's a couple. Yeah. And they were like, oh, no, we're a football school now. They'll come out to Woodworks now. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm going to watch the game. When is it, Saturday? Saturday at 11. At 11. You going to watch, watch football? Miss Paula better stick that thing pretty early. I, I, you ain't hunting till 11. Come on. No. Man. I get daylight 630. Yeah. It'll be, let's see. But they ain't been moving. I've been looking on that camera. That, that camera, and it, they ain't been moving till 830. 830. That's a good thing. That's a, that's a marathon sit there. Yeah. yeah. But at least the Skeeters will be gone by then. Well, oh, yeah. Boy, they... did it feel good this morning. Yeah, it's been Ooh. nice. We finally got a little weather down in yeah. here in the south. That's oh, nice. I put a hoodie on today just to feel like I'm at home again. Yeah. So you could. Oh, I was so excited. I bet you them fish are back. I'm kind of scared to go fishing. Why? Because I got home from church the other day. It took me a little nap. That was blessed rest. <laughs> you get the best rest on Sunday because it's blessed, you know. Yeah, it is. There is nothing like a Sunday afternoon. Uh, no. uh, and I got up, and I went out there and backed up to my boat, cranked it down on the ball, hooked my chains up, hooked, plugged in my deal, and then something happened. I, I done something. I don't know. Then I went and. Unplugged my battery. I got in there and took off. Took off. I got about six miles down the road, went over a bridge. My boat come off the trailer. Ooh. Not off the trailer, off the ball. Oh. oh. The trailer come off the ball. Wait, your trailer came off your truck? Yeah. Well, that's just as bad as a boat coming off a trailer almost. Yeah. Did it tear up anything? I used to think, oh, yeah. <laughs> Ain't no, that's he, stink, he, he look at it, he said, oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that stinking sea arc's a tank. It, it gets into a vehicle. It it says, no, nah, I'm your, going through you. It hits oh. your truck? Yeah. Tore my uh, blank, blanker out on my passenger side, the, the tail light, and it hit right there under between the uh, bumper and the, and the light. It put a crease in there. How fast were you going? About 30. That's scary. I was coming to a stop sign. And it just come loose. Oh, boy, it let me tell you. Didn't put it all the way down. I used to think, you know, I'd hear about it. I'd say, them idiots. Well, let me tell you what them idiots do. <laughs> <laughs> them oh, idiots, I'm them idiots do what I just told you. They back up to the trailer. They jack the the hitch down on the ball. They put their jack up. They put their chains on. They plug the thing on, and they go do something else. And they don't latch it. They walk off and don't latch it. it. That's what the. That's so what, it popped uh, up off the ball. Yeah. He didn't latch. He didn't have it latched. I down. didn't latch it. There it is. Yeah. Yeah, see. That's what them idiots. I ain't going to say I'll never do it. That's the first time I ever done it. But that's the first thing I do is put that and pop that pin in it before I even mess with a yeah, chain or anything else. Okay, it ain't going nowhere. I'm so every time I drive a trailer, I'm like, I, I'm so nervous. I'm like, something bad is about to happen. <laughs> I had to go get my golf cart with the, you know, which is my boat because it's got rod holders on the side because it's the most redneck. Well, there's so much do. junk to remember to do. And I was so I was the whole time I was like, this yeah. golf cart's gonna fly off at any moment. No, nah, it ain't. It didn't. It's hard to do, but. So now I gotta get a re. I, I need to put me a note on the steering wheel. Latch. Don't forget me. Put you a Good sticker great. on there. Make sure this is latched. Man, but nobody else was involved. No. That's Where was you? Use it the four way right there at the church and all no, that. No, I was. Or, I, I was going to Darbon. I cut through that Guyton Road, Guyton Church. Something. Yeah. Guyton Swamp Road. No, that's over there by Shinny. Oh yeah. But you, I think it's. Anyway, it's over a bridge right there where you come out at Wilderness Acres. Oh, you went that way? Yeah. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Yeah. I went over that bridge. Well, I, I'm stunned it made it that far Yeah, I am before too. it did it. Did you catch anything? Yeah. Oh. Because you kept going? I, I said, no, I'm going fishing. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I tried to do that the morning I hit the deer with my boat. Oh, yeah. Except I, my truck said, 
No, you ain't. No, <laughs> no you ain't going nowhere. I, I look at Brittany. I said, she said, what we do? I said, we're going to go to the lake. I mean, I ain't worried about it. And then all my gauges went, Nyow. I said, oh, no, we're going to no. pull over right here. Never mind. We're okay. We, yeah. We're okay. We passed me and Stone passed him on the side of the road. I said. I didn't even help. Just I, kept on going. I said, that looked like Martin. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there I was, broke down, fluids coming out of my truck. Oh, he come back. I know. No, you called. I said, no, go fishing, son. <laughs> I said, don't worry about me. Ain't I, nothing we can do here but no, wait. Ain't nothing you can do. Go catch me some. Bring me some back. But, yeah. No, that's. Good grief. Yeah, that's a bad deal. But, hey, you're fine. Your truck's drivable. Your boat's fine. Yeah. It could have been a lot Stankin worse. Stinking tail lights. You got to buy the. Well, I had to buy the whole assembly anyway, but $132. Well, that's only fitting that your truck's about two inches narrower than I it just, used to be. That's the way all of ours end up. I so. got a, a crease right there, but. It'd be all right. It was going to happen eventually. <sighs> <laughs> it don't Old matter. age is creeping in. <laughs> Start forgetting things. I, at some point, you just let the truck go and just have dings and everything all in it. I swear I'm at in that 2012. You don't even care anymore. You, you see dare my, somebody pull up. My dad got a new truck. He don't like driving it. He kept the old one because, you know, he accidentally set a fire on it. And mm-hmm. there's more. Bun- he's, and them trees ain't got a lot of give yeah. when you back into them. Yeah. So it's just, you know. It's the a, sense of freedom you get from driving a paid-off vehicle is, is unlike any other. Just it's, tear it up. Who cares? You just, it don't matter anymore. But whatever. All right, well, let's take another break. Godwin, I'm sorry to hear that. We'll be yeah. back right I'm after. glad you're okay. I'm glad you caught fish. Johnny D. Yes, sir. When I say pillow maker, who, who well, comes to mind? Well, he's just a model American, a great human being who loves his country, and his name is Mike Lindell, baby. Yeah, he is, and he is the My Pillow guy, and he, look. And he's expanding and uh, pillows, towels, sheets, slippers. Everything goes in your bedroom pretty much. They got you covered now. Amen oh, to yeah. that. You oh. know. And he loves America, and yeah. I love him, and he's going to fight for our country. Thank you. Best thing that ever happened was they sent Big Mama some of them slippers. Oh, and, yeah. and uh she ain't taking them off in eight months and i suppose that's probably gonna keep rolling even when they get here but I look love them. they're all fantastic the sheets the towels that size such a big oh, fan yeah. of size yeah. over there trying to cut himself again that's Miss a good Paula thing. likes the sheets oh. yeah does she she like in percale sheets mm. that's good the slippers is britney's favorite and of course We've all had a my pillow. One time, my pillow was our Christmas bonus. Yeah. Willie got us all my pillow. Yeah, he did. So <laughs> Carter if, stole mine. If that don't yeah. tell you how how we feel about them, look right now. My pillow is having their biggest bed sheet sale ever. The my pillow percale sheets are available in a variety of colors and all sizes are on sale. For example, the queen size sheets are regularly priced at eighty nine ninety eight, and right now they're only thirty nine ninety eight with promo code duck at mypillow dot com slash duck. Order now. Because the supply is limited, the MyPillow Percale sheets are breathable and have a cool, crisp feel. They have deep pockets fit over any mattress. They do. And you can't beat the 10-year warranty or the 60-day money-back guarantee. It's there for you if you need it, but you ain't going to need it. You ain't going to need it. You ain't going to need it. The only thing you're going to do after 60 days is order you another set. You say, Dadgum, I hope they don't run out. People that give out guarantees like that know what they got, and they know it's good. Oh, that's, exactly, that's exactly right. Look, you've got to check out the great specials right now for MyPillow. Go to MyPillow.com slash duck and use promo code duck to get up to 66% off and get the MyPillow per kale sheets for as low as $29.98. Again, just go to MyPillow.com slash duck and use promo code duck or call 800-969-3137 and use promo code duck. Order now because once they're gone, they're gone. Where to? I don't know. So I started off with a bunch to say and now he ain't got nothing to say. He ain't got nothing to say. Hey, so I, I'm giving him time to think about it. What's He's... under his shirt? No, no, no. No, I got a question. Where'd you get that shirt? I have no that's, idea. That's a pretty cool looking shirt. I like it. But it's uh, I seen it and I said, well, I'll just wear it. Is it just a white t-shirt with a sticker on it? Nope. It was a gospel symbol on it. Was it it's oh, it's like there. a big, it's like a giant iron on patch. Yeah, oh. iron on patch. Oh. Huh. I thought he had something under his shirt. Did somebody make that for you? I think Lester did. Lester. The guy that does my t-shirts. Oh. Uh. 
I think I think he did, but I'm not sure. I thought because looking over here, like he had a bulletproof vest on. I thought he was yeah. Big worried for his life. I didn't know what well, was Lester get me a black uh, already. One. Look, and I got blood on it. Uh oh, that's terrible. That's, that's all of it. That's terrible. He just bleeding. Throw it away. I'd be all right. Christine needs hey, something. Hey, cut it off. Evening. Just cut it off. No. Mid-drift shirt. No. A belly shirt? We'll, we'll bring him back in style. Crop top. You could do it, sir. No, I can't. If you that. wore something like that, everybody would wear well, something hey, like that. No. I don't know that I would. <laughs> That'd be a shame to wear it. No, I'd wear it. No. <laughs> I ain't chained to my belly. Well, then you'd have that big old belly out there. Worked hard for it, didn't you? Oh, what? Well, his belly way smaller. Mine keeps creeping back into the picture. Uh -oh. I, ain't, I ain't wearing it. Well, you got to quit eating all that good stuff. I know. All the good stuff. It's been getting me lately. Mm. I've fallen off the wagon. I got to get back on it. Yep. I can't afford to fall off. I do. I'll sugar will go up. And I'll, I'll do. I don't know what happens. Just take more I don't cinnamon. want to find out. <laughs> cinnamon. Cinnamon. Oh, man. Yeah, it was dropping out. Dropping. My alarm, that thing I'd wear, alarm would go off. That's probably what happened to your boat trailer. What? It probably went off and you went to check it and you forgot. Hmm. That's probably what got you. Hmm. No. No. I was trying to give you benefit of the doubt here. Well, I'll... <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't my fault. <laughs> I agree. It ain't his fault. Oh, uh, my favorite part of that whole story. Let me tell you what them idiots do. Well, yeah. <laughs> I know exactly what they do. I'm one of them. <laughs> oh. My goodness well, gracious. Well, si, what? when did these threes questions yeah. that you brought up, when did that well, pop Well, I've just been thinking about it. He's been okay. thinking about it. What's the... They didn't just pop in in like a dream through outer space again? Well, no, this was... The, you know, everything that's going on in this world uh -huh. that is just totally out well, of control. Well, what do you think about us launching a satellite into an asteroid? How do you feel about that? Well, that's, that a satellite? Uh, what? that's well, one of them. I mean, it's an, object in, it's an object in space. I don't know. That's a preemptive strike. I haven't heard. Okay. Preemptive. Yeah. What are we doing? We're practicing for the real thing if it ever really happens. A big mm. asteroid headed towards this planet. Like Armageddon? Uh, well, I'm just. Oh uh, yeah. Like the movie. I, I'm just saying. I don't think Bruce Willis was involved. Yeah, we'll yeah. just call Bruce Willis. Yeah. He can drill, man. <laughs> if you need a whole dog, oh, that's no. the guy. Yeah. I would like. How would you like to go jump on the asteroid? Oh, I'd like. It. I'm <laughs> not interested. <laughs> and then start drilling holes in it, and then play with dynamite. I don't really like yeah. leaving Louisiana, so I'm not really interested in going to space. Space would be awesome. Just think you'd be floating around. The world's first planetary defense. Ma so we're literally dropping bombs on asteroids, see if we can move them? Oh, uh, yeah. In case change, Armageddon does happen? Hey, change to try to change the trajectory of it. And make Is that it, what they, they didn't blow it, it up. By, they was trying make to make it bypass us. Yeah, they was like trying to pull a, yeah. like a block, a Did little they pick knock play, it off a pick play, if you will. Did they knock it off its course? Like a pick and roll. Yeah. We intentionally collided 6.8 million miles away from Earth. That's too far to walk. With, yeah, that's too far to drive. I don't know. I'm trying to read. There you go. Uh, that was little, our first try. While he's reading. What's but why are they trying it? That's the question. Well, apparently, just in case. It's because, a JIC move. Because there's a danger of it actually happening. You think yeah, I don't think it's a just in case. No. Uh oh, he no. thinks it's practice. Oh, no. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah. I think they know this something. This is actually, you know, hey, it's a possibility. We're going to start something here. I think they know something's coming. So then the, the Italians sent a camera to follow it. 6.8 million uh, miles away? I guess. No. Well, I'm just, I'm reporting. It is CNN that I'm reading, so who knows? But What is it? Um, drone? I don't know. Hmm. I think we all we did was know. hit it. I don't think we moved it. We made it, we like, just made it mad. Huh. Well, how, how do they know they hit it if it's, what, 6.8 million miles Well, they, they sent, uh, who knows? <laughs> Tiny D in space. Don't What's get the along. Yeah, oh, no, no. What's the I'm just saying I doubt it. I'm just saying you can't yeah. trust everything you read on CNN. That's well, all I'm going to say. No, yeah. so that's like the deal about, okay, hey, four billion years old. Astral. I know we've got a deal that we can look at the layers of our planet and all that and get an estimate of how, long, how old it is. 
How do they do that? Age something out of, and how do they calibrate the machine that does it? What we learned: carbon dating. Yeah, carbon carbon dating. dating. Eh. What's the difference? Is the layers of the earth. Yeah. Okay. What's the difference between a cat and a comma? What's the difference between a cat and a comma? Yeah. Garfield, lasagna. I got nothing. A cat has paws. I mean claws. A, pa- a cat has claws at the end of comma, his paws. And a comma has paws. At the end of a claws. Uh, I, I, got <laughs> I got it. <laughs> the delivery was a little rocky, but you got there. Yeah. Right. So I had to, a cat me. has claws. A, a cat has claws. claws at the end of his paws, and a uh, comma has, has paws at the end of a claws. That's right. There it is. Educated. He's, Again. Yeah, what what he English up. class you been going to on the weekends? I don't know. <laughs> a bear walks in a bar and he says, give me a whiskey and cola. And the bartender says, why the big paws? He said, I don't know. I was born with them. <laughs> uh Guy, when I'm gonna have to get you start writing some of these down now that I'm gonna be a dad. I need dad jokes. I don't know. I was born. I was born that way. I was just born with them. I Why just, the poles? Why the big? I don't know. I read about the asteroid. It seems like all we learned was that we can hit an asteroid. I don't know if that's gonna do us any good. If Scope's on. Just gonna make the asteroid <laughs> more angry. Yeah. Hey. But hey, that's your taxpayer dollars at work. So yeah, wasn't it like three hundred fifty million? I wonder how many times I had to turn the dial out in. We get Drew Brees back for that price. <laughs> he hit it. He pretty. Act- I mean, it's going to get close. He ain't got no arm strength no more. But, but he, he hit it. Yeah. He gonna hit the right spot. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, I don't know. And then the other thing I saw in the news was somebody got a, a emotional support alligator. A what? For real? That just seems like oh, a bad no, no, idea. No. They had that on television. A young lady had one with a walking lease. Hmm. On an alligator? An alligator, yeah. Really? Yeah. She was about uh, six, maybe. How big? Oh, six-year-old yeah, girl? Six-year-old yeah, girl. six-year-old girl and an alligator was about six foot. Hold on. Somebody emailed okay. me about and then, then it showed them everybody had it on his shoulder and was uh, hugging it like a baby. And I said, yeah. You're going to turn around there one day and he's going to bite your ear off. No, he's going to bite your head off. Well, hey, that's it. Yeah, yeah Dustin from Ashgrove, Missouri sent us a video um, about Wally, the emotional support. There it is. There what he is. on earth? This Hello. minute. There he is. Look at this, Martin. That's the same one. Look at this. That's Dude's the same pet- one. He's kissing an alligator. Yeah. All right. Oh, that's tight. No, that's dangerous. No, that's cool, man. That alligator's walking around their house like a dog. That's fine. Uh, that alligator don't know he's an alligator. That's it. Now, but, one day when he figures it out, it's going to be a bad deal. Yeah, they're going to... Yeah, this is going to have a bad ending. No, <laughs> I ain't. Okay. I wouldn't do it. Yeah, this is going to have a Where bad ending. Where is the guy from? I don't know. <clears throat> it's Wally the Emotional Support Alligator. Yeah. yeah, Emotional Support, all right. Yep, it's like that lady in the snake. Huh? The lady that found the snake out in the cold and took him inside and followed him out, and he bit her. Oh, you know, and he said, "Hey, you knew it. You knew what I was when you picked me up and brought me in here." There you go. Hmm. And you're now you're shocked that I bit you. Yeah, that's kind of. I'm like- a snake. That's what I do. I bite people. I yeah. bite everybody. Yeah. Why are you going to get mad at me? Yeah, why are you going to get mad? I'm just doing what I'm designed to do. That's what them criminals say today. When them cops get them, they say, well, I'm just trying to steal this. Why are you trying to, why are you mess? Don't mess with me. This is a, this is in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. And he like takes it to the park. That ain't the one he I He doesn't saw. recommend it though. Yeah. Hey, that ain't the one I saw. I saw the young lady had He done got I bit saw. once. And well, he said, if you don't know what you're doing, you will get bit. And you know what I do to alligators that bite? Eat them. Bite them back. Run. Well, shoot. Yeah. Well, hey, you lose. Yeah. You lose that. We need to keep up with that. You lose that endeavor, that there, son. Yeah. That's going to end badly. How'd the alligator end up in Pennsylvania? He ain't even from around there. Right. Well, maybe he's too foreigners. old to do anything. Farners. Farners. He's a farner. He's, a farner, he's five and a half foot. 
Oh, yeah, that's still the fun side. You can mess with them that size. Once they get up to about eight, they, they become a nuisance. No, sir. I ain't messing with them this long. Why no. not? Oh, no. Their they teeth ain't got Their teeth are too sharp. Boy. Man, they fun when they, they little. They bite you. you yeah, they Ooh. bite you. Well, don't let him bite you. gets infected. Oh, oh boy. You that is mess trick. with them, they going to bite you. He adopted it from Orlando. Yep. There you go. Yep. Bought it out of a... Evacuee. Hey. Yep. Bought it out of one of them little he pawn runner, shops. Saved him. He running from Ian. He said, what's that alligator going to do when it snows in Pennsylvania? He going to go get under he that heat freeze. lamp. going to freeze. That's what he's going to He going to get under that heat lamp they got for him. Unreal. And he'll bake. There you go. Well, let's take another break. We'll be back right after. You don't like a mid-morning snack? I like a snack anytime. Oh, I have to eat snacks. That's the good part. <laughs> I eat them turkey bites. Do you eat all them Viennas? Turkey backs, boys. Yep. What was your favorite flavor? What are we talking about? I like that bourbon, smoked bourbon. Barbecue. And the bar- oh. barbecue, they were gone. I ate oh, them yeah. first. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the regular originals, they good. All of them's good. Jalapenos. Boy, I want one now. Is there any more over there? You took the whole box with you. Oh, oh he took the bag. Boy. I'm all tangled up. Papa ain't got a new bag because he ate it. I need some more Viennis, whoever sent that. That's right. He's out of being. I don't get some myself. I don't send them on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Hey. Any hoosers. Good night. How am I going to get off that stand if I get on it? What do you mean? Dude, moving all morning. Shoot them and then Doug leave. Take you some snacks. I guess so. Sit there a while. And just sit there. Well, I got to watch him, Ole Miss in Kentucky. Hey, you can watch him right there. I guess so. You better watch him on ESPN. I've watched a many of football games from a deer stand. Many of them. All of them. Lots of them. I just turn the volume all the way down, get it right there where I can see it, and if something happens, yeah. I it I, is football. Season. I pay I'm attention. I'm glad it's uh, fall. It oh, is fall. Great. It feels. I, oh. Yeah, it's my favorite time. There of was year. some leaves falling off the trees yesterday. Ooh, the was it? So all I said, look, the leaves are falling. I said, yep. You're going to be able to see a long way in a couple of weeks. Yeah. We're to the point now you go outside and build you a far. I mean, you still yeah. ain't going to stand real I close to it. I got a big it, old but... pile. You got to wait till it's late. Yeah. I, I mean, got a big old pile built up behind my shop. I got to burn. There you go. It's that time. You get you some, well, no. Never mind. No. I guess you get you some weenies. You just yeah. can't have no marshmallows. Yep, the red. The <laughs> red. Some pop. of that no keto, s'mores. keto buns. The yeah. red pop weenies. Oh, yeah. For roasting? Oh, yeah. They work oh. good for roasting? Oh, yeah. There you go. He's that's, an old pro. Well, that's the only ones that's any good. Them red ones. I, I like all hot dogs. I've, and and you don't like Vienna sausage? It's a hot dog. Yeah. Just so, cut oh, into yeah. bite-sized chunks. Miniature, yeah, miniature hot dogs all of this. No, it is not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, miniature hot dog. When you open the pack of hot dogs. Why dog, are we talking about food? Hey, we, we always, always end up there. Uh, well, it's fall. All the good we food always is in end fall. There. Man. I could eat a dozen red pot Yeah, we're like. Dogs. I'm fixing to build me a stew. It's a chili, chili. It's chili season. Yeah. Soup. Ooh. Which have we Ooh. talked about. Me and Brittany got in a spirited debate the other night about chili. A spirited oh, debate. She wanted it's got beans in what it. What is she craving? It. Oh, forget the beans. She's Chill craving chili. Forget the beans. Now, Johnny D just just said it right there. Hashtag. What? Deal with it. What? It's beans. Be- you put no. Now don't, don't put no be- beans don't in put chili. Beans and chili. That's it. I put beans in chili. Not a lot. Yeah. No. You ain't from but, around yeah, here. That's it. I put uh, well. Yeah, I learned an alien. I learned to make chili from one Willie Robertson. <laughs> So my chili got a whole bunch I of never, stuff in it. I never seen beans and chili willy mate. Hey, he got oh, beans. No, in. you don't run good chili with beans. He probably done it one time and said, "You want to put it oh, on beans? Hey, beans. have them on the side." That's what I said. I said, "If you want beans, let's make red beans and rice." That's right. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. It's a basically chili that you cut up smoked sausage and put into. Ladies and gentlemen, I mean red beans and rice is essentially that. It's yeah. time to vote. I think we need to ask the people to vote. Bean Can you put that on Instagram? All right, I just bean. got the heads up. You do not put. Go beans to our Instagram in chili. when this episode airs. Ugh. Do beans belong in chili? No, I'm anti beans in chili. No. You know what I, I like in chili? Beans. Sour cream? No. Oh. Ketchup. 
Because that's what Brittany does. Filet mignon. Well, <laughs> I mean, who does? You put ketchup in your... I put ketchup in mine. Brittany put sour cream in it. Sour cream. On what? I ain't tried and that. And chili? No, I went over to Willie's house one time. He's like, hey, try this chili. And I was like, man, that's a big piece of ground beef. And I said, that's not... But And I took a bite. I said, that... Now that is something better than I expected. Yeah. He goes, yeah, it's filet mignon. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, okay. he make he makes lucky charms. He don't make chili. Oh, it is. You just don't know if you're getting ribeye filet. I don't I mean, have as man. much money as Willie, so I I don't do filet. But I I bought a T bone once and just well, cut you it got all a piece up of a filet and then yeah. soaked. Well, it's way cheaper. Yeah. But and then just put that bone in there and let it marinate in the chili. Oh. But it had beans in it. Yeah, it had beans in it. See, I'm anti beans and chili. I, ah, I just am. That's, that's nice. I like chili with a little bit of shredded cheese and some saltine crackers. That's all I want with it. You know what I like chili? Oh no, you oh, got yeah. but a hot a little dog. rice on the bottom. Oh, no. You can do you can do rice. But, right, the but medium. I ain't you can do no more. You can do cornbread. You can do whatever you then, want. To. Then you chop up some good onions, fresh onions. Throw that in there. Might have to do that cauliflower. I put onions Ooh, in mine. Hey. Yeah, cauliflower rice yeah. or the on chili on top. Yeah, Rotate. but you're gonna have to watch how you thicken your chili because most time you thicken it with flour. Can you do like a work, different kind of flour, work, almond flour? Or work something? some. Uh, oh, well, that much. No, if you're gonna, gonna thicken, if you're gonna thicken it, you do that with corn chips. Put a little ketchup in there. No, I like Fritos. Put some hey. cheese hey. on top. You want to make a Frito? Oh, look, yeah. all I got up. one way to eat chili, yep. and it is with Lisa Robertson's Mexican cornbread. Corn, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's man. a meal in itself. Oh no, that that's hell. Yeah. It'll that's, feed you for four days. Yeah. Yeah. I do mine a little different from hers because I misread the recipe the first time I did it. Because she puts it in two pans, so mm-hmm. it's kind of thin. I just had the one pan. I wasn't yeah. paying attention to the re- And mine, oh, but it's You like, make oh, cake. Oh, yeah. it's like, <laughs> too thick. it's wonderful cake. Oh, no, oh, no I, you'd too like thick. it. I'll bring no. you a piece, bro. You you make cake. Oh, it's so good. Yours, you could like pour half I of it and put another it. layer of bacon and then pour the other half if you wanted to. Oh, it's crazy. Yeah. Good it's good. so good. Yeah, it's a good party trick too because when you flip it over onto the cutting board, that basket weave of bacon's on the mm-hmm. bottom, and people that ain't never seen that before start asking, like, like they admire you. Yeah, they get fired up about that. Yeah, because it's good. Yeah, I need to text my wife. I know what I'm doing on Saturday. That's up. I'm making chili with beans. With beans. Not a lot of them. Not a lot and cornbread. I just don't think they have a place in chili, in true I, chili. I, I just don't. don't. Either. I, what, I don't. Now, what does Texas say? I don't know. I thought Texas had, you know how Texas is. They got yeah. their rules because we're Texas. Yeah. I, I, but I don't know. Texas has probably got beans in it. I don't think so. I don't, you don't think so? I don't think. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Let's see. I don't know. I just think. Me my, personally, no beans. Most, Texas is against beans. Yeah. yeah. God bless Texas. Yeah. Yeah. That's what well, I I'm a volunteer now. That's what I thought. You are. With the great state of Tennessee. And, they're, and a volunteer's chili is a, is a gullion. They'll put a little bit of everything in there. You look up there, there's a can of Rotel in there. You like hey. I do that. Huh? I do that. You can put the Rotel in there for some tomatoes. Oh, oh good heavens. I thought he was talking about chili. Uh, yeah, they're making stew. Yeah. They're it making, is mulligan, they're mulligan. making a goulash. Yep. A mulligan. I was hung out Robertson with Willie special. for a decade. What'd you expect hey. me to learn? Willie Robertson special. Boys. Well, don't call it chili. It is chili. No, no the only no. mater's in chili. No, not chili. It's like tomato paste. W sauce. You can pour that. Yeah, he'd be fire. Oh, you pour no. him in there. I just, this is a new, this, mm. I, this is new for me from, yeah. from, since the last time I made chili last fall. It's no surprise, though, that three of us are one way and one's the other. It generally happens. No, it's not surprising. No, it really isn't. <laughs> yeah, is there's it? somebody <laughs> always going to disagree. Yeah. Well, Except for on Black Panthers, then it's always two on two. High five. Yeah. Well, you know. <laughs> We're talking about real things here. Yeah. Hey, not real. imaginary. They are real. Yeah. <laughs> they are real. Yeah, we're not talking. So size anti-bean. Anti-bean. I'm the yeah. only be- pro-bean guy. You're only pro-bean. I'm fine with that. I've been different. If Brittany oh, was oh, here. Oh, she's I'm, pro-bean. Oh, I'm she's pro-bean. Bean. She's been different her whole life, hey, too. I'm pro-bean if it was rice and, Well, know. it's not chili. You put beans in it, well, not chili. Rice and rice what and is beans. it? I don't, I don't, know, but I don't know, but that needs to. Then you need to make chili. like a Frito pie out of it or something. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It, it ain't. I could go for a Frito pie. So there you go. Hot dog. Hot dogs. That's fine if you want to do that. Just but if you if I want a I'm bowl so of chili. Oh, that's like they have ruined the hot dog. What? Who ruined? Hey, hot I dog? know. Hey, I'm telling you because they run they run it through and they put everything on it. Who? 
Phil does it for a matter of fact. Oh, his gourmet dog's fire. Yeah, yeah. you better get off that. No, 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 I, I say it's them good. At the house. I, I yeah. say it's good, but they run it through the garden. That crumble bacon he tried to <laughs> the, he come up with. <laughs> yeah, you got. Well, hey, bacon makes everything. You better. got a problem with that? Yeah. We can't be friends. Hey, no, no, put it on no. Corn. Bacon makes everything better. Mm-hmm. That, that is I'm true. I'm starving. You won't put bacon too. in chili. I'm okay with it. That's it. That is. Boy. Just leave the beans yeah. out. I'm going Just to Sonic. Actually, oh, you I'm can. To, hey, that's what I fix to have when I go home. BLT. Sonic. I, no, I'm fixing to have me some chili. Oh. Chili. You gonna make you, you some? You gonna bail oh, some? Yeah. Hey, I hope my can of wolf. I'm coming to your Oh, house. he's on the wolf brand. Ah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, and you're judging me, a can me for and beans? Throw me a bunch of Fritos in there and have a Frito pie. You're Frito. judging me for beans, wolf chili? Hey. Oh, no beans. Well, duh. Duh. No beans. Duh. Well, <laughs> sir. I'm hey, a Hormel Fritos. guy. I am, too. I'm, I'm a Hormel chili guy. Yeah. But well, I ate that, too. Hormel hot. That's where I'm going. I'm going to get a, something after that. Hey, I'm, I'm fixed to, that's what I'm fixed to have when I go home. Ah. All the chili. Well, let's take another break. We'll be back right after hey. this. Mm. We might not be. But then we're we going to get in that mailbox. Well, what's in that mailbag, Johnny? Lucas did? from Sandusky, Ohio. I've been there. Isn't that where Tom, Tommy Boy was? Home of Callahan Auto Parts. Yes. I like that. Fantastic. Proud of, I've been there, too. They got like a big roller coaster thing up that way. Yeah, they do. Yeah. It was fun. Them Ohio folks on that bag, Chili. Ain't that right? I draw a line yeah. in there, Cincinnati. Yeah, we got some of that. But yeah. me and Cincinnati have made up, so I don't want to ruffle any feathers. But, yeah, the spaghetti bag, Chili, is weird. Sandwich. All right, anyway, Lucas emails in, and Lil... He got some questions. All right, Lucas. I think we can answer them. Two months ago, Lucas had his first kiss. <laughs> oh. We all remember it, right? How old Lucas? Lucas is 17. All right. Lucas has said, to me, it felt early, but his parents are like, no, nah, you're good. They're good with it. But he was wondering when we had our first kiss and if that was too early or not. Bum, bum, bum. Huh. I don't even remember. I remember. I don't even remember. Oh, I remember mine like it was yesterday. <laughs> and that's what I was counting on, Lucas. <laughs> I'm telling you, I was in the first grade. First grade. And okay. we're waiting on the bus, and I lost this fine little thing, get on the bus. Well, hey, it ain't my bus, but I get on it anyway. <laughs> no and way. That, no the, way. I, I don't know. No, time out. How in the world when, when you were in first grade were there two buses? Well, I'm just saying, hey, Vivian, Louisiana. That's what right. I'm saying. Why is there two? Y'all like north, north, one south, saying, baby. Hey, I'm just saying. What'd you do? Look, get on the Greyhound and then, bypass hey, the school? Then, hey, the bus drivers of said buses had to separate us. In first grade? In first grade. So oh, if you're worried oh, about it was, being too soon, hey, my man. Not too soon. She, Prissy's going to love this. Her name was Prissy Pardew. Prissy Pardew. Hey. Prissy, if you're listening. That's right. Hold on. Could have been you. Hey, she'll be turning as red as a tomato right now. Especially since uh, you outed it that it was first tomato. grade. Uh, what grade was she in? He was, he was going. in first oh, grade. Well, oh, then how were y'all on two different buses? Well, hey, look, I was I'm hoping he was going to say like six or she something. She may have just visited, been visiting somebody on the bus. I don't know. she go to private school and use on public school? Uh, no, like, I, public, I don't, school. public school. I swear. There might have been more than one bus. In first grade in Vivian, Louisiana, there's two schools servicing that today at the same bus stop. Just, Something's wrong logistically. Well, no, no, they had to pick up all the students. Good grief, out in the country. I understand. They had to well, send. Hey. They were two the buses many, weren't right. full, but they had to send them different directions. Otherwise, they'd have been there till. So I was just out there trolling the bus stop. I was like, what's up? Now bro? you'll end up on live PD. You keep that up. Yeah, what's what's her name? Nice. Prissy party. He said, "What's up, Prissy? This your oh, bus?" Oh no, no, no! Hey, oh, from shoot, the sounds hey. of it, they didn't talk. So your first hey, look, kiss happened on a hey, bus. Hey, here's a weird part. Can't, I can't believe I didn't date her in high school. Well, she already knew what you had to offer. Well, I'm just saying. Hey, your cards I don't think it was your it. choice. Well, I don't. Oh, yeah, it was. <laughs> oh, hey, once I set set my mind, son. No, hey, come hell to high water. Hey, <laughs> it's gonna happen, boys. <laughs> Lucas, yeah, thank, um, you. Hey. thank you for the yeah. question. I really oh. don't. I'm not even saying I don't remember because it's embarrassing. I honestly have no recollection know. of that. Uh, I clearly got a type 
That's all I'm gonna say. She looked a lot like my current wife. Yeah. Oh, well, there you, there go. you go. Hey. I'm I'm into br- when you find a good thing. I'm into five five brunettes. That's what hey, I like. Hey, hey. <laughs> when you find a good thing, you stick with it, boy. There you go. Well, Lucas, <laughs> I did not know that that's what we were gonna get, but thank you so much for emailing that in, so we can find out about Vivian bus rides. All right, this one's a little tougher. Uh oh. Mike in Missouri. Uh, Mike's uh, dad passed away in 2020 and his mother moved in with my wife and I, uh, which is, you know, it happens a lot in life. Mom moves in. Uh, He's not complaining at all. I guess just venting a little. I want to take care of my mom because I know it's the right thing to do. Um, And I know my dad would be proud of me. However, it does get pretty stressful at times and she doesn't take good care of herself sometimes and it falls on us. Doesn't want to complain. Guess he just needs to vent and ask for any encouraging words. He believes they're doing the right things, and he loves his mom dearly. Hmm. Anybody got anything? It's tough. That that's a good one. But he is doing okay, the right thing. she's the one that brought you into this world. Yeah, yeah. there it is. Yo, so you owe her at least that. Yeah. Okay, to take care of her. Yo, know, and like me and my mother were very close, so that wouldn't. Wouldn't have been any problem. And and let's face it, okay, as we get older, okay, it's a hard thing to actually watch it happen, especially when their health starts going. Mm-hmm. Okay. But it, like you said, it's the right thing to do. You know, and, of course, okay, it's a hard thing to do. Yeah. You know, especially it's- if her health is going. Mm-hmm. You know, because to watch someone you dearly love, okay, going down and there's nothing you can do to help it or stop it, you know, it's just a tough go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'd say 100% uh, he's doing the right thing. Yeah, you're doing I mean, the right do, thing. Do the best you can, provide the care you can, and if it gets outside the scope of what you can provide, then you got to do something else. But, you know, it's uh, they took care of you for, um, I'm assuming, a minimum of 18 years. At least. So probably a little more. Probably more, most likely. Yeah. But you know. I thought when Johanna graduated she'd be out the payroll. <laughs> <laughs> don't happen. Still there. No, no, they don't ever get off the payroll. <laughs> I went back. <laughs> yeah. I went back to get on that payroll. I can't, I can't help it. Oh boy. But yeah. it is size right, it is tough. I watched I know I watched my mom take care of her mom. Uh, in the later years of her life, and that was tough. And and now my dad, my my grandmother hadn't had to move move anywhere yet, but you know she got pulled over by the cops going sixty the other day, so it could be coming soon. And we love my grandmother, but he goes out there and he mows her yard. Uh, <laughs> and I I remember growing up, like one of my big things was I went and mowed. My dad was like, "You go mow uh, their yard." So it is important to remember as we get older, or as your parents and your grandparents get older how much they took care of you, mm-hmm. as I said, and you return the favor. It's just kind of the circle of life is a weird way to put it, but it's kind of yeah. what it is. Yeah, repay it all. That's mm-hmm. why I'm glad these two youngs, you wait till they can hold a weed eater, son. <laughs> <laughs> they about to get on that bag. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Carter, Carter finally there. He can blow off the driveway, blow off the porch, yeah. and he likes it. That's so I've got him tricked right now. Yeah, you got to trick them into getting that weed eater's fun. They got me with that. Yeah, I now know it ain't no fun. I ain't a weed eater. Yeah, I'm a but zero turn fast lawnmower. Nah, <laughs> you a zero turn and roundup kind of guy, ain't you? Well, I actually you don't go. do a lot of roundup. My I, dad will round up the whole world. I like edges. I like sharp edges. I don't like no grass touching my concrete. So I, I'll teach him boys how to do it. Boy, yeah. I'll teach duck. him boys how to do it. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. You gotta you gotta get to and turn then, that thing upside down. Son. And then one day they gonna be one day they gonna figure out that was a trick and they're gonna be sitting here what well, they probably I don't know, podcasts may not be a thing by then, but if they are, they'll be complaining about me teaching them how to weed eat. And they'll be mowing your yard, mowing your mom's yard and all that good stuff. Yeah. Oh praise God. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have a lot of more time. Oh yeah. man. As he, Martin had himself a work for us. Oh buddy, guaranteed. All right, well I got you a verse. Let's do it. Um, Mike, this one's for you, uh, and this is what you are doing. And so you asked for an encouraging word. I'm going to give you an encouraging word from Exodus 20, verse 12. Honor your father and your mother so that you may live long in the land of the Lord your God is giving you. Amen. You're making not only your dad proud, 
you're helping out your mom. You're making the Lord proud by just honoring your mother. So keep on keeping on, man. Absolutely. All right. We'll see y'all next time right here. We're out.